Hi, I'm Kevin Dunn, director and co-producer of such films as Fatal Flaws and Bridge of Roses, the story of Our Lady of the Cape. I'm so very pleased to tell you about a brand new production and crowdfunding campaign from Dunn Media, a project we've been working on since last November. This is the story of a modern day champion for the renewal of the Catholic priesthood and church, a Canadian whose cause for canonization could soon be opened. He's in the line of church heroes like Father Patrick Payton, Venerable Fulton Sheen, and St. John Bosco, blessed friend of youth. His name is Father Robert Bedard, founder of the Companions of the Cross, who is known to thousands, perhaps millions around the world affectionately as Father Bob. The name of the film? Permission, Father Bob Bedard's vision for the church. The great modernist heresy that somehow somebody has sold us is that God is asleep. It's not asleep. It was Father Bob who said that uh, the church is like uh, a sleeping giant waiting to be unleashed. He could preach like no one else. And then there's all the conversions that are just almost countless. He was preaching new evangelization before the word even became popular. I was urging them to give their lives to the Lord in a way that people in the rank and file Catholic Church today have not been encouraged to do. Every time Bob Bedard shared, whether it was on television or in a meeting, or one-to-one, -one, you saw his heart. People loved him. God doesn't want you and I to apologize to the world for who we are. God wants us to move ahead in the victory that he's called us to live in. Renewal is God's idea, not ours. For me, the main grace of the Spirit in his life was the conversions. They experienced the Father's love through Father Bob. He would often say, if it would advance the kingdom of God and the salvation of souls, he would roll a peanut with his nose down Bank Street. He was willing to do the ridiculous to see the miraculous. There's no shortage of little miracles that surrounded him. I remember one lady, she had a serious health condition and she had this idea that if I can only touch his garment, maybe I'll be healed. <laughs> and she, she touched his garment and she was healed. This life you gave, I give back to you. I can see so many qualities in him that suggest to me that he could be a saint one day. He was a father like no other. I believe people will look back at him and say he was a prophet. You can't deny what has happened through this man and the legacy of it. Give God permission. How many of us are ready here in this place to let God do what he wants to do? We interview Father Bob's past students, fellow priests of the Companions, friends and colleagues, including people like Dr. Ralph Martin, Bishop Scott McKaig, Bishop Christian Riesbeck, Father Roger Vandenacker, and Father Mark Goring. The film will also feature a praise and worship soundtrack, including a brand new song from the group Found Together, which was commissioned specially for the film, Permission. Join us as we celebrate the life and legacy of Father Bob in Permission, Father Bob Bedard's vision for the church. Thank you.